Hello, in this cool guy video, we're going to talk about studying in the University of Alabama, Birmingham. So the University of Alabama, Birmingham is located in the city of Birmingham, which is just about like a two hour drive from Atlanta and uh, in the state of Alabama. And um, it's a popular university. It's not like in, you know, the top 20. It's not nowhere comparable to like MIT or Stanford, but it's still a very popular destination for Indian students who are planning to go abroad. It's, you know, you could say like a mid-level tier to university. Some of the departments are very popular for Indian students. We're going to talk about the campus, the location, the Indian restaurants nearby, the cost of living, and what each department of University of Alabama, Birmingham, is like. So, first of all, where is the state of Alabama located in the United States? So, this is a map of the United States. And Alabama, the two letters for each state, you know, for Alabama, it's A-L. So remember, like um, A-Z is Arizona and um, A-K is Alaska, which is all the way up here. And then A-L is Alabama and A-R is Arkansas. So um, A-L is Alabama, so it's over here. And uh, this red part that you see here is the state of Alabama. Uh, so it's located in the central time zone. So the U.S. has uh, four different time zones so because it's such a wide country. So the East Coast is the Eastern time zone, and here is the Central time zone. Here is the Mountain time zone, and here is the Pacific time zone. So Central time zone is usually about one hour behind the Eastern time zone. So um, in Alabama, we have um, uh, some interesting places, a lot of Indian temples, you know, a few places to visit. The cost of living is low, so it's a kind of popular destination for Indian students. So states neighboring Alabama. So this is an enlarged map of the state of Alabama. On the north we have Tennessee, and on the west we have the state of Mississippi. On the east we have Georgia. So if you see um, from Alabama, there is a, from Birmingham to Atlanta, it's only a two-hour drive. And, uh, there, you know, there's uh, other cities over here. There's Huntsville, Tuscaloosa, and there's uh, Mobile all the way over here. So in the south, we have um, the state of Florida and also like the Gulf of Mexico, the ocean. So it's very close to the beach, meaning if you're in Mobile, you're like close to the beach. But then if you're like in Birmingham, you'll probably drive like four hours south to go to the beach. But then a um, lot of people from India who are flying to Birmingham will either fly to Birmingham International Airport or a lot of them fly to Atlanta because it's a very major airport in Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport so they fly to Atlanta and then drive two hours to Birmingham so we're going to talk about the different cities in Alabama and what it's like to live there so this is a map of the state of Alabama so there is um, Huntsville at the top, there is Birmingham over here, Tuscaloosa over here. So there's University of Alabama in Huntsville, University of Alabama Birmingham, University of Alabama Tuscaloosa, University of Alabama Montgomery, and then the University of Alabama, there's one, you know, university in Mobile. So um, there's Auburn University, which is located in Auburn. So um, Birmingham is not the capital of Alabama. A lot of people think, you know, Birmingham is like the most popular city in Alabama, but it's not the capital. The capital is Montgomery, which is marked with a star here. So there's the University of Alabama in Birmingham. We're going to talk about this particular university now. What about the weather in Alabama? It's humid, subtropical weather. So it's kind of uh, warm, crispy, humid, because it's close to the ocean. And uh, hot summers, mild winters. The average annual temperature is about 64 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius. Average rainfall 56 inches. Hailstorms occur occasionally in the spring and summer. Heavy fogs are rare. Thunderstorms occur throughout the year. Hurricanes are quite common in the state. Although snow is a rare event in much of Alabama, areas of the state north of Montgomery may receive a dusting of snow a few times every winter, with an occasional moderately heavy snowfall every few years. Alabama is not always equipped to salt the roads when it snows rarely. So ice on the roads causes cars to skid and traffic accidents and jams. So if you're living in Alabama, sometimes if you get snow, you know, like up in the north, in like say Michigan or Boston, 
there the state is ready to receive the snow and they salt the roads so when you add salt on the roads it melts the snow and you can drive right so you don't skid but if it snows only for two three days a year there's like ice on the roads and sometimes you can't see the ice so even if you're walking you may skid and fall and sometimes if you're driving the cars can skid and cause accidents all things can happen it happens even in like in north carolina my uncle used to live there and on the few days that it snows and there's ice they have to be so careful they have to have chains on the tires or they have to like uh, you know, drive very carefully and things like that. So that's something you might want to watch out when you live in states like North Carolina or even like, you know, Georgia or sometimes even in Alabama. So, but usually there's not much of snow at all. They might receive just a few, you know, like a dusting, a little bit of snow here and there. Alabama, interesting facts. Alabama state is named after the Alabama River, which in turn was named after a Native American tribe called Alabama that inhabited the region. The tribe's name is probably derived from Choctaw language words, Alba Amo, meaning vegetation gatherer, referring to the tribe's expertise in collecting herbs to use as medicine. People from Alabama are called Alabamians. Alabama became the 22nd state of USA on December 14, 1819, called the Yellowhammer State. The Yellowhammer is not a tool, it's not a hammer. The Yellowhammer is a woodpecker, it's a bird. So Alabama is called the Yellowhammer State. Alabama interesting facts Alabama's capital is Montgomery but most people live in Birmingham and Alabama workers built the first rocket to put humans on the moon Alabama's major industries are agriculture poultry steel making and mining none of Alabama's lakes are natural so these are some interesting quick facts airports in Alabama so there's Birmingham Shuttlesworth International Airport, BHM, in Birmingham. Huntsville International Airport, HSV. Uh, Dothan Regional Airport, Mobile Regional Airport, Montgomery Regional Airport. Muscle Shoals, Northwest Alabama Regional Airport. So these are regional airports, but if you're flying from another country, you'd either fly to Birmingham or Huntsville, or you would fly to Atlanta and then drive two hours to Birmingham. Important cities in Alabama. So there's Birmingham, Montgomery, and um, Huntsville, and Mobile, and also Tuscaloosa. So let's talk about Birmingham. So the city of Birmingham is size about 148 square miles. Population about 212,000 as of the year 2016. The Birmingham Hoover Metropolitan Statistical Area has a population of about 1.1 million, which is approximately one quarter of Alabama's population. So one quarter of the whole Alabama state population lives in the Birmingham metropolitan area. Birmingham was named for Birmingham, England, UK. So how did Birmingham city get its name? So you know there's another Birmingham in England in the United Kingdom. And um, as you know the US had a lot of European um, people who you know colonized this country. So it was named after Birmingham in England. And the Birmingham in England is one of the biggest industrial areas of that nation. Birmingham is about 160 miles or two hours away from Atlanta. We already talked about that. Public transport in Alabama. So there's a lot of buses, bus stations, trains available, though they may not be very frequent. It's certainly not like New York, you know, where you can live without a car. In fact, it's so difficult to have a car in New York. Even the top-notch managing directors, CEOs of companies, they use public transport. Because parking, there's no parking spot, okay, in New York. If you're living in California, there is some public transport, but not so much. You know, you have to spend one hour instead of like driving 10 minutes by car. So my point is, uh, in Alabama, there is some public transport, though not that much. So you can travel from Birmingham to Atlanta, 146 miles in about 2.5 hours. Birmingham to Tallahassee, Florida, about 300 miles in about 5 hours. Birmingham to Mobile, 260 miles in about 3.5 hours. Top universities in Alabama. So in the state we have um, University of Alabama Tuscaloosa, University of Alabama Birmingham, University of Alabama Huntsville, and Alabama State University in Montgomery. So remember, there's the University of Alabama system, okay? It's a whole system. And each of these universities is an independent university under that system, University of Alabama. It's the same in any state, okay? 
Now in California, we have the University of California system. Under that, we have University of California Berkeley, University of California Davis, University of California uh, Riverside. There are so many universities under the system. And then we have the state universities, which are much less expensive. There's a San Jose State University, you know, like there's Alabama State University. They're a different system of universities. It means they're governed by a different body. That's all it means. And um, universities of Alabama, all these universities are public universities. And then there are private universities. Like, say, in California, we have Stanford University. And um, in New York, there's Cornell University. And uh, in New Jersey, there's Princeton University. And then there's Harvard University in um, Massachusetts. And there's Rice University. These are all private universities, usually much more expensive. So there's private universities, public universities, state universities. And then, of course, there are community colleges, which are very, very less prestigious. So and these are some of the top universities in Alabama. And we have some tier two universities such as the University of North Alabama in Florence, University of South Alabama, Mobile, University of West Alabama, Livingston, University of Mobile in Pritchard, Auburn University, another popular destination. There's Jacksonville State University, Troy University, Samford University in Birmingham. That's very different from Stanford. And then University of uh, Montevallo in Montevallo. So we have a bunch of tier two universities. But the most popular universities are those four that we talked about. So in this video, we're going to talk about the University of Alabama, Birmingham. So this is the um, logo of the university. So the history of the University of Alabama, Birmingham, brief history. So in 1936, in response to the rapid growth of the Birmingham metropolitan area and the need for the population to have access to a university education, University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa established the Birmingham Extension Center. So first there was the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa. They established an extension center in Birmingham to meet the increased growth. The center operated in an old house in downtown Birmingham um, and enrolled about 116 students, uh, long back, okay, in 1936. In 1945, the University of Alabama's newly established four-year school of medicine moved from Tuscaloosa to Birmingham and took over management of Jefferson and Hillman hospitals. 1959, research grants, training grants, and fellowships exceeded more than a million dollars and ground was broken for a new children's hospital. So this is how the University of Alabama, Birmingham grew. Some quick facts about the University of Alabama, Birmingham. So UAB, as it's known, was ranked 14 nationally and one of the nine public universities recognized as up and coming by US News and World Report for making the most promising and innovative changes in the areas of academics, faculty, and student life. UAB has been consistently ranked among the most diverse universities nationally in the Princeton Review. More than 150 student organizations, including 16 fraternities and sororities and division athletics, provide ample opportunities for student involvement. So, what's the difference between a fraternity and a sorority? Fraternities are like, you know, they usually have Greek letters to denote them, like there's the Theta Chi and then, you know, like um, uh, Alpha, Gamma, Delta, you know, so many different fraternities. And sometimes you know, a lot of people, they only go there for socializing and, you know, um, team building and activities like that, sports and stuff. And some people go there to study together. Fraternities are usually for males and sororities are the female equivalent. So sometimes you might want to watch out, there might be a lot of like hazing or like ragging you know, in these fraternities and stuff. So you might want to be careful about that. Usually it doesn't happen that much, but sometimes it does happen. So um, let's look at the department rankings of the University of Alabama, Birmingham. So uh, business, MBA school ranked lower than 100. Computer science, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, law school, all these are like ranked lower than 100 in the US. And then medical school ranked top 35 in US. University of Alabama, Birmingham Business School. So if you're doing an MBA in the University of Alabama, Birmingham, you'll be located in this building. So it's ranked lower than 100. And then there's the engineering department. So this is what the campus looks like. And then um, from my interactions with some of the people over here, I did understand that a lot of master students had uh, teaching assistantships, some had research assistantships, some people get tuition waivers, some people get partial tuition waivers. It all depends on your profile and how your research interests align with the professor's interests. 
and whether at that particular point of time the professor has funding or not. So um, this is the computer science department and um, this is the mechanical engineering department. It's ranked lower than 100 but a lot of Indian students still go there. So this is the civil engineering department. So um, it's not to be a kind of like a popular destination and then there's the law school, University of Alabama, Birmingham law school. So law school is uh, again ranked uh, lower than 100. So this is the medical school. The medical school is actually quite popular. And uh, medical school is ranked around like top 35 in the US. Acceptance rate about 7.1% for MD program. MCAT score is like about 30 out of 36, so it's very competitive to get in there. Average undergraduate GPA about 3.8. Program duration about four years. Annual tuition about $61,000. Average starting salary about $85,900. And um, it's a very popular MD program. I mean, it's kind of competitive to get in there. I mean, nowhere as highly prestigious as like Duke or Harvard or Stanford, but it's still kind of uh, tough to get into it. It's quite popular, especially for people who grew up there and also for people um, who want to live in a place where the cost of living and the tuition are relatively low, you know, compared to a lot of other universities. Cost of living in Birmingham, Alabama. So monthly rent as of the year 2016 for a furnished studio would be about 450 to $650 per month. And then one bath, one bath apartment about 1000 to $1,100. Maybe you can get even for about 900 to $1,100. Furnished two bath, two bath apartment about uh, 1100 to $1,300 per month. It's still only about like less than half the cost of California. So it's comparable to the cost of living in Texas or like, you know, Florida. It's like about the same or maybe a little less expensive. So if you're thinking about purchasing a home in the city of Birmingham, so it, you can get probably a one bed, one bath house for about 25,000 to $100,000, depending on where it's located, a lot of other factors, where it was built and you know the size and everything. The cost of a three bed, three bath house would be approximately like somewhere from 80,000 to $350,000. And a five bed, five bath house, approximately 200,000 to $600,000 to purchase, I'm saying. University of Alabama, Birmingham, some of the famous alumni. So, Dania Barcelona, professional soccer player. So, Green McDowell, professional golfer. Tony McManus, professional soccer player with the Atlanta Silverbacks. Uh, Larry DeLucas, astronaut and research scientist. Henry Panion, university professor of music, music director for Stevie Wonder, Grammy Award winning arranger and producer. So, uh, Indian restaurants in Birmingham. There's Taj India, Sitar Indian restaurant, Asha's restaurant, Bay Leaf, some Indian restaurants. And top employers in Alabama. So these are a lot of top companies located in the state of Alabama and they recruit a lot of people from the universities in Alabama. So there is a Huntsville Hospital System, Boeing Company, NASA Marshall Space Flight Center, Sinran, uh, San Mina SCI Corporation, Intergraph Corporation, SAIC, Adtran, Siemens, University of Alabama in Huntsville, uh, Teledyne Brown Engineering, all these top companies. And then this brings us to the end of this video about studying in the University of Alabama, Birmingham. And if you're thinking about applying there, I think this gives you an idea of what it's like to study in the University of Alabama, Birmingham. Thank you.